Unit 6, Lesson 15, Equivalent Exponential Expressions. Number 1. Evaluate the following expressions if x equals 3. a. 2 to the power of x, or in this case, 2 to the power of 3. That means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. b. x to the second power. In this case, it would be 3 to the second power, or 3 times 3. When x equals 3, x to the second power equals 9. c. 1 to the power of x. 1 to the power of x, in this case, would be 1 to the power of 3, or 1 times 1 times 1. When the value of x is 3, 1 to the power of x equals 1. D, x to the power of 1. In this case, it would be 3 to the power of 1, or 3. When the value of x is 3, x to the first power equals 3. E, 1 half to the power of x. 1 half to the power of x equals 1 half to the power of 3, if x equals 3. Or, 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. When x equals 3, 1 half to the power of x equals 1 eighth. Number 2. Evaluate each expression for the given value of x. a. 2 plus x to the third power when x is 3. 2 plus x to the third power would equal 2 plus 3 to the third power if x was 3. Or 2 plus 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, so 2 plus 27 equals 29. b. x to the second power when x is 1 half could be written as 1 half squared or 1 half to the second power. 1 half times 1 half equals 1 fourth, so when the value of x is 1 half, x squared would equal 1 fourth. c. 3x squared when the value of x is 5. 3x squared is the same as 3 times x squared. So 3 times x squared or 3 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 25 would be 75. So when the value of x is 5, 3x squared would equal 75. D. 100 minus x squared when x is 6. 100 minus x squared, or 100 minus 6 squared, or 100 minus 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36, so 100 minus 36 is 64. When x is worth 6, 100 minus x squared would be worth 64. Number 3. Decide if the expressions have the same value. If not, determine which expression has the larger value. a. 2 to the third power and 3 to the second power. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And 3 to the second power is 3 times 3, which is 9. So 3 to the second power is greater than 2 to the third power. b. 1 to the power of 31 and 31 to the power of 1. Well, 1 to the power of 31 means 1 times itself 31 times, like 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, and you do that 31 times, and that would still be 1. For example, 1 times 1 is still 1. And 31 to the power of 1 has a value of 31. So 31 to the power of 1 is greater than 1 to the power of 31. C. 4 to the second power and 2 to the fourth power. 4 to the second power is 4 times 4, which is 16. And 2 to the fourth power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is also 16. These are equal values. 4 to the second power and 2 to the fourth power are equal values. D. 1 half to the power of 3 and 1 third to the power of 2. 1 half to the power of 3 is 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, which equals 1 eighth. 1 third to the second power is 1 third times 1 third, which is 1 ninth. 
and one eighth is larger than one ninth. Number four, match each equation to its solution. A, seven plus x squared equals 16. Well, seven plus nine equals 16. So let's take a look at solution four, where x equals three, and substitute the x with a three. Now it reads seven plus three squared equals 16. And since three squared is three times three, or nine, and seven plus nine equals 16. Then solution four, x equals three, would match the equation. B, five minus x squared equals one. Since five minus four equals one, let's look at solution three when x equals two. Let's substitute the value of two for x, and now we have five minus two squared equals one. And we know that two squared means two times two, or four. So five minus four equals one. Number three would be the solution for B. C, two times two to the third power equals two to the x power. Let's take a look at solution number one when x equals four and substitute the x with a four. Now it would read two times two to the third power equals two to the fourth power. That's the same as two times two to the third power equals two to the fourth power, or two times two times two times two equals two to the fourth power. Solution number one would be the matching solution for equation C. Now let's take a look at equation D. Three to the fourth power over three to the power of x. That's the same as three to the fourth power divided by three to the power of x. And they say that that equals 27. So let's rewrite it as three times three times three times three over three. And since three to the fourth power or three times three times three times three equals 81, and 81 divided by three equals 27, then the value for x should be one. Now imagine that you substitute a one in place of the x. That would be three to the power of one or just three. So 81 divided by three equals 27. Solution number two matches the equation D. Number five, an adult pass at the amusement park costs one and six tenths times as much as a child's pass. A, how many dollars does an adult pass cost if the child's pass costs five dollars? One and six tenths times five equals eight. When the child's pass costs five dollars, the adult's pass would cost eight dollars. Now when the child's pass costs ten dollars, the answer is going to be twice as much as it was when it was five dollars. Or one and six tenths times ten equals sixteen dollars. When the child's pass costs ten dollars, the adult's pass will cost sixteen dollars. When the child's pass cost W dollars, well that's an unknown amount, so they put a variable in there. The adult's pass would cost one and six tenths times W, or one and six tenths W. B, a child's pass costs fifteen dollars. How many dollars does an adult pass cost? We can use the answers that we got from problem A, because a $5 pass for a child and a $10 pass for a child together would total $15. We can add the adult prices together, eight plus 16, that gives us $24. We can also do one and six tenths times $15, and we would get $24. So when the child's pass costs $15, the adult's pass costs $24. Number six, Jada reads five pages every 20 minutes. At this rate, how many pages can she read in one hour? Well, we know that one hour is 60 minutes. A, use a double number line to find the answer. They gave us the time in minutes, 20, 40, 60. So it looks like they're counting by 20s or the amount of minutes that it took to read five pages. So let's go to the pages read part of the number line and count by fives. 5, 10, 15. For example, 5 pages were read in 20 minutes, 
10 pages were read in 40 minutes, and 15 pages were read in 60 minutes. B. Use a table to find the answer. On the left-hand column we have pages read, and they told us that 5 pages were read. On the right-hand column we have time and minutes, and they told us that it took 20 minutes for Jada to read 5 pages. So if we want to know how many pages she read in 1 hour, which is 60 minutes, we can multiply 20 minutes times 3 to get 60 minutes. Now we need to multiply the pages read times 3, and 5 times 3 equals 15. So we know that Jada read 15 pages in 60 minutes. C. Explain which strategy you think works better in finding the answer. Well, I think they both work well, but it was easier for me to find the answer in one step by using the table. When I just multiplied the 20 by 3 to get 60, then I multiplied the 5 times 3 to get 15. It just so happened that it worked out nicely that 20 times 3 equals 60, so I was able to do it in just one step. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 6, Lesson 15, Equivalent Exponential Expressions. Mm -hmm.